Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library, and in this video, we'll learn how the items shrink to fit by using the flex shrink property, which will adapt the items to the width of the container if the size of the items is larger than the container itself. I have a list of items, but I'm not defining the width. But before that, I will go for the Flexibox item, then I will fix the width to 200 pixels. So now I have 200 pixels at each item of Flexbox item. But the problem here, if I check from the code, you see that I have 145.75 pixels. This is not 200 pixels. Why? Why I have this width right here instead of 200 pixels? So I'm fixing the width. So because by default, we have this flex shrink property set to one, which means that it is enabled. And this property is used if the size of the flex items is larger than the flex container. And I will show you that because if I go here and I disable flex shrink by using the zero here, so it means that I don't want to shrink, shrink the items. So you will see that I have the container is overflowed. And if we take a look at the width now, you see that I have 200 pixels and the elements are not shrinked. Okay, let's just define that again. I'll use zero. I just remove this overflow auto and I will show you that this is the container. Okay, let's just draw that. This is the container. And these are the items. This is the item, the first one, second one, and third one, and for sure the other one, so I can't just scroll to see that. But this is the third one, have a fourth one here. The items, the other items, are just exceeding the container and the size of the items because it's fixed it because we have this 200 pixels and because we decide that i don't want to shrink element by using the value zero so in this case the items overflow the container and we'll have let's just check the size here we have the flexbox parent 469 we have 469 pixels of the container and what do we have for the items we have 200 pixels times 4 which gives us 800 pixels and for sure 800 pixels is larger than 469 and the items which means that flex items are more than the flex container or the size of the flex items is more than or is larger than the flexbox container and we'll have this overflowed element. To avoid this problem, we need to define how the element will shrink. So for that, let's just use one instead of zero. And as you see, the element adapt once the size of the items is larger than the flex container. So this value right here is the default one. This one define that the element needs to shrink. By default, even if I comment this line right here, the element shrink, because this is what we have behind the scene by default. So in general, we don't use these pixels right here to fix the width of a flex item, but I'm just doing it so to show you how it is calculated. Now let's just fix the width to 40%. The other thing that flex shrink can do is it can shrink a specific item by using a factor. So depending on the other flex items, I will go and I select a one item here. Let's just select the third one, flex box item. Then I will use nth child and I will go for the third one. Third one, let's just set the background to tornado. Okay, I select this third one. However, I wanted the element to shrink by using the factor three. And what that means exactly, once I start shrinking the element, so this third one will shrink three times more than the other ones. It depends on the other items and it will shrink, shrink three times more than the other one. Okay, if I choose as an example two, we'll see that it, is, it shrink two times more. Avoid using negative number for the value of flex shrink. And what to take here is zero, just disable shrinking for the items. And once you define a number one, two, three, or whatever, it's just use it as a factor. One is just enable shrinking. Two or any other number higher than one, it just define how the item will shrink depending on the other items. And by shrink, I mean decreasing the size.